Hi everybody, Jo here. I hope you're enjoying this uh, lovely fairy craft festival and enjoying all these videos that we've got and the lives. And you know, there's such a wealth of knowledge here. And what about the new stamps? Do you know what? When I created one of my samples, this one here, I enjoyed it so much. I thought I just had to share with you. So this is what I'm going to create today. So maybe pop the kettle on. I've got a glass of water here. It's so hot here today while I'm recording this video. My glasses keep steaming up. Now I'm going to start, I'm going to put that over there. We're using some of the new stamps and I'm going to start with a piece of 6x6 multifarious card. And I'm going to create my circle first. So for that, I'm coming in with my acetate circle mask and I'm using the larger one. And I'm going to use, I'm going for hints of green, sort of hues. So I'm going for lime punch because I want it quite light, quite zesty. And my lovely stencil brush. And I'm going to place this sort of about the middle. I'm being good today, I'm getting on crafting. You know me. There's a reason I was a cold chatterbox when I was a little girl. So I'm going to hold that in the middle. And we've done this before. And I'm just going to gently, gently add a little bit of ink around. As I say, I just want a nice gentle hue. So for anybody who's cold hue, we're having a nice gentle one of you. And again, always on the lid and on the mask to start off with. It just means that your blending's better. Gives you that nice soft blend. It's a great way to practice your blending is this. And when we take that away, look, and if I just want to soften that edge, I've got less ink on my brush, so I can do that. And that's all I'm going to do with that. Pop that away, give my mask a bit of a wipe and put that away otherwise. Now I'm going to do my stamping next. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to add my owl first, our lovely bayou. Or I'm hoping by the time I'm at the, uh, by the time you see this, I'll have learned how to say his name properly. But he's just gorgeous. I think that's what I'm going to call him, Gorgeous B. And I'm going to ink him up in black. Just because I want him to really stand out. Although with these gorgeous eyes, I think he'd stand out anywhere. So I'm going to stamp him sort of in the middle, a little bit nearer the top, because I'm being mindful, I want him to sit on the key. But I did this two ways. I tried stamping the key first, but in all honesty, I found it harder to position him on top and get him looking right, sort of the actual positioning of him. So for me, I found it better to stamp him. And then I've got this gorgeous key. Now there are two keys. A large one and a small one and we're going to use the smaller one and I just need I've just got a bit of ink on my I get a bit carried away don't I get ink everywhere I've got to try and be clean so I'm just going to put my head over the top look and I just want to put that just under his little feet and the key bit just just there so for me, this I found this the easiest way to do my positioning. Lovely. So he's just sat on there. Now, in this new release, there's a fabulous set of four stamps called the Vine Set. And again, as soon as I saw them, I was like, I need to use these. So I'm going to use one of them, which is this lovely... It's almost like a little vine and I'm going to use black just to start off with and I'm going to just come up look from and I can follow the shape and I'm just going to stamp around and again I'm just moving my card just because for me it's easier if I do it that way. And I just think I want one more. I just want to create a nice sort of, I'm not going all the way round. Now, I could leave it like that if I wanted. And the great thing with this is there are so many possibilities. And then if I just want to get a little bit coming this way, 
I could have carried on all the way round, but I'm just thinking I want to almost bring my design round this way. And I think we'll have one more. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. <coughs> just come in there. I'm going to put the lid on that because otherwise <coughs> I'll put my hand right in it. And again, if you were creating almost a monochromatic, you could do this in just tones of black and greens with a hint of green. Now, this is lovely. It's almost three gorgeous heart-shaped leaves. So I'm going to bring in a couple of colours for this in the Versafine Claire, the Verdant and the Shady Lane, or Shady Lady as she's in my head. And we'll do the Verdant first. And what I want to do is just have some stamping and I don't want to overcook it because I'm going to come in with my darker colour as well. So I'm just going to look and move it as I go. As I say, I don't want to... And I'm just building up that design. And if I put one there in the middle, another one there coming down, and I'm thinking one there. So I'm going to stop there with the lighter colour, because like I say, I can always go back and add some more, but I don't want to overdo it. There's nothing worse than an overstuffed wreath. Hmm. So I'm going to come in with the darker colour now. And what I'm thinking is just doing some... And just build up where I've got little gaps and I know you're going to be shouting at me saying you've got a gap there because it's always easier watching when somebody else is doing it isn't it you know when you come to stamp it up yourself how many times do we sit there looking or is that just me I sit there looking thinking do I need a bit more don't I Right, I'm thinking just a darker green there. Right, again, I'm going to stop with my dark green there. And I'll tell you why. Because I've got this beautiful little flower. There are two flowers on this set. And I'm going to come in with Summertime. Love this colour. As you know, I'm a bit of an orange girl. I've tried to be good recently and I've done more designs using blue. And I just want to put one in there. And I'm just going to go around and add some lovely flowers where I think I need them and again oh nearly did you spot that and I'm almost trying to not make it look obvious I don't want to keep going left right left right let's just pop another one there another one there one at the end a bit more there Right, so we've got a space here, so I need a lighter. Right, where's my... So what I tend to do is get to this stage and then just have a look at my design. And for me, I've got a space there. So if I just come back, and I hope you agree with me, if you're shouting at me, you can see I just think it needs... And then maybe a little bit more there, just to keep that out. In my head, I'm sort of seeing an outer shape. And the same there. I like this bit here, that's a nice shape. But it's worth spending just a little bit of time, there we go, to get that shape. And that's why, and it's better to go back. Well, just in my opinion, for me, I find it easier to go back and create that than overdo it and wish I'd not added as much. So I'm happy with that. And I just want to leave this space here. Right. We'll put those all there and we'll add a little bit of colour now. So for the colour, I'm just going to use my lovely watercolour pencils. And I've got them here. I want to get my watercolour brush ready. And first of all, I'm going to lean just so that I don't, I don't want to, um, if I've got any marks on my hand, 
and I'm just going to add a little bit of green round his eyes just to bring in because we want that lovely cohesive design don't we so if we give him that it ties it all in nicely and then I'm going to pick out an orange and two browns and I'm going to do his little feet his little claws orange now again normally I would spend a little bit longer doing this but I am aware that you don't want to be with me all day colouring. Or would you? How do you fancy coming and spending the day with me? We could do some colouring, some stamping. The only thing is, we might have to walk Eric as well. And he's sat now under my, he's actually under my chair. He's not been well, so he seems to want to get even closer at the minute. Right, I'm adding a little bit of orange. You see, multitasking, I can craft while I talk. Now, I'm coming in with the darker colour and Tracy has drawn, I mean, these the detail in these stamps, honestly, every time we get a new release, I, the detail just, it blows me away. I mean, I just can't draw for Toffee. But if you look, she's given us the shading just at the base of these feathers. So all I'm going to do, and it's so easy because she's given us that shading, is come in with my darker colour look. So if, I, if you just bear with me, if I just show you, look, and this is a cheats way of colouring, just a bit of dark, a little bit of highlight there, and then over everything else, I'm going to come in with a lighter brown and just colour over the whole lot. And this almost blends, because I'm doing this lighter colour last, it just blends them all together. We'll just add a little bit on the key. Now, for me, you could you could leave it like that. I'm going to add some water. Just let me put my pencils back, and they've got to go back in the right order, I'm afraid. Messes with my head if they don't. So, got some. I'm just going to do the eyes first because that's the green, obviously. Then, clean my brush little bit more water and then we're going to go light to dark I'm just going to blend those colours and this will really make them pop and then wash my brush again a little bit more water and we'll just do his claws and then come in and just get that orange here again just working on those colours so we've got all our colours together now, if you bear with me, if I bring that closer and show you, I think, and that didn't take long, did it? I think that's just a lovely way, and he's so lovely to colour. I mean, I, there's so many things in my head I could use him for. He's fabulous. Now, on my original look, I've stamped the word hoot here, and that comes on the set um, Nightfall. But I have noticed there's a lovely feather on um the set called i think it's the woodland set and i'm actually thinking i'm going to put the feather here so again this one's going to be the same but different and i'm going to stamp black now i think this feather is going to be so useful i love my little stamps as you know But what I'm thinking to tie it in, right, I'm just going to give that a blot. Just going to bring my pencils back, get my orange, just add a little bit of orange down the middle there. Again, just to tie the whole thing in. And then we're nearly done. It's just time for some finishing tricks and we love our finishing tricks don't we so a couple of things we've got white posca this is my new one i was at Lavinia the other week and look i've got myself a new posca and i'm just going to highlight the white there a little bit on his head here and just a couple of bits on his tummy and then we've got it on the key it's drawn on but we'll add a little bit more and then just on some of these leaves, 
again, it just brings the whole thing. I don't want to overcook it. Now again, already I'm thinking this design, we could make it Christmas. At the minute, I seem to be seeing Christmas designs in just about everything I make. But that's nice because for me, you know, it gets my, my crafty juices flowing. I'm thinking, right, there we go. I don't want to overdo it. I'm happy with that. And we're going to add a little bit of our stickles. Now, this one, because I want to just generally put some stickles all the way around, I'm just going to pop my heat tool on first. Just check everything's dry. And I'm going to do a bit of a dot and dab. So normally I don't put stickles straight on my work because it can spit a bit. But this one I'm going to dot and dab it. So I'm going to dot it all the way around. And then I'm literally going to dab. Just because I want it generally over the whole design. So a bit of dot and dab. And then finally to finish off, I'm going to come in with some Posca splats. Now I know there are those of you that aren't keen on this. So for you, you could leave your design here. And that would be your finished piece. But I'm going to come in with, I've got a lovely orange, one of the sparkle, the glitter ones. Again, give it a shake. If it's not pumping properly, just pump it on your mat. But this one, it's normally a good one, this it behaves. And I'm just going to take the end of my brush. You don't need anything tougher than this. And I'm going to hold it almost away from the owl and just see if I can get a nice, and I'm holding it quite close, look. Point down and just a nice even pressure you'll know turn it around just how hard to tap and it is a tap you shouldn't have to <laughs> I was gonna say violently hit it <laughs> anybody watching this that doesn't craft will wonder what we're talking about and I just want to pop a few in this gap here look <sighs> got a little <sighs> there we go that's gone Right, a little bit more there. And again, I can direct where I want it, a bit more there. A little bit around the feather, I think. There we go. And for me, like I say, I think there are so many possibilities with that. And to batch card make, you know, you could really batch card make this. So if I bring in the original and bring in the one that we've created today, I have to say, ladies and gents, I've had a hoot today. Sorry, couldn't resist it. You can, you can always skip over that bit. So thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoy the rest of the festival. Honestly, soak it all up. You enjoy every minute of it. The only thing for me is I end up eating that many cheeky biscuits and that many pieces of cake. I might have to go on a diet after we've finished. You take care, everybody. Thanks, as always, for your lovely comments. Love and hugs from me. Bye for now.